program developed. Uh, the last uh, national campaign that we think about really it is not uh, for the DRR, but it is uh, about cleaning the seat. Cleaning the seat. Yes. Yes. I'm just going to give you a mic because I'm not sure that. Yes, yes, please. Mm -hmm. If I can switch it on. Yeah. Uh, our slogan is, uh, was brought uh, through the garbages and the sewage water is the same. Uh, and at the same time, uh, don't use the uh, dynamic fishing. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We have many dynamic fishing. Uh, it was very good. Uh, the, the Success, success uh, was uh, uh, a good uh, public participant, especially for uh, students, schools, and universities. Uh, the army, the Muslim army, show us also. Uh, the challenges is uh, uh, the sewage water. We have a problem with the sewage water because uh, we, we don't have. Uh, a challenge that related to implementing your campaign. So, did you find opposition? Did you find some? No, with respect to the the campaign, there is no challenges because there were a good participation. Wow, a campaign with no challenges. <laughs> Congratulations to you. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Okay. Yes. We've got two more. We have some time, I think. Oh, so so much. Yes. Please. Um do are you gonna need a mic? Maybe you are as you want. Just go and speak in Arabic yeah. and I will translate. Okay, well, maybe for the ones in the first table, I don't know. <coughs> okay? Uh, 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 we conducted two campaigns, one on women's, uh, women's rights and the other one on changing women's stereotypes in the community. Uh, the positive thing about this campaign or the success story is that they brought together a big number of women from the community and they identified their problems and prioritized it to come up with the topics and the issues that of the campaign that they will be working on. Uh, so they, they, they suggested to work on early marriages, uh, domestic violence, uh, Nationality, for us. Uh, yeah, but nationality, for nationality wasn't uh, a topic for them to work on. They had more uh, local. Not particularly nationality. Uh, and the and إنه هاي القصة هن نبنوا عليها يعني من الأساس هن هيك عايشين فكان من الصعب إنه كي تغيري هاي الفكرة فيهم. And uh, the challenges they faced that most of the the topic they worked on has cultural roots like uh, domestic violence, early early marriages. So it was really hard to address those issues and make uh, tremendous changes within limited time. So this is something that requires lo uh, a lot of work on long period of time, taking in consideration the difference between cultures uh, between Lebanese and Syrians. 
Uh, by the way, all the campaign was uh, facilitated and planned and implemented by the, the community leaders, Lebanese and, uh, and Syrians. Maybe just as a background for those in the room that don't know where you're from and which organization you're from. Uh, we are from Action Aid. I, we are based in Lebanon, uh, and uh, Ghufran is a community leader, a Syrian uh, refugee, and a community leader in Lebanon. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, of course, we need you. Merci. We need to hear your voice mm. as well. All right. Nous avons, en tant que chercheur, à effectuer une étude pour la grande ville d'Antananarivo par rapport à à l'aléa inondation après inondation 2015. Euh, alors, nous avons travaillé ensemble avec une organisation de la société civile et après l'étude. Euh, I think we need to translate for everybody. <laughs> so, uh, we did our group, uh, especially researcher from the University of Antananarivo. We have worked with the civil service organization to put uh, in place a, a, an early alert system. A uh, alert system concerning flooding especially because this is a, a very serious hazard because every, uh, very often we get uh, tropical cyclones and um, she's talking on her own but it's also affecting the oceans because we are very neighboring island from the Indian Ocean. Et ce système d'alerte que nous avons mis en place, c'était euh, au niveau communautaire. Euh, nous, av nous avions mis ensemble avec la communauté de base après avoir fait euh, une renforcement, un renforcement de capacité pour euh, cette communauté-là. Et ce sont la communauté, c'est la communauté elle-même qui, qui fait euh, euh, l'organisation pour. Euh, pour être uh, um, capable de, de fonctionner. Okay. So, uh, to put in place this early alert system, we have been working with the community at the local level, uh, and they are the, the ones who take in charge of uh, the operating of the system. Et l'objectif du système est que, que ça reste dur, uh, durablement uh, au niveau communautaire, Et, mais le problème c'est que c'était justement pour la grande ville alors que la plupart de toutes les grandes villes de Madagascar on a besoin alors que nous n'avons pas le moyen d'effectuer de, dans d'autres dans régions. Uh, she said that uh, her work has been concentrating only in the capital Antananarivo when uh, this type of uh, uh, problem also affect other villages and she said that uh, we haven't been able to extend this activity in order to lead it to the black hole. Thank you very much. Um, I know that Sarwar also wanted to share, and I'm sure others, but maybe we can move on and you can you can intervene during the, the short presentation we have next and also during the exercise. I think there will be, uh, there will be time to you know, share your experience in any way we're not many, so that makes it also much easier. So we're just going through, uh, we're gonna go through a bit of the um, main elements of a successful advocacy campaign, and we'll see a bit the steps that one needs to take to develop a good campaign, and some tools that can help, some tools that can help you to do that. Um, most of, all of you in the room have done this before, so I'm quite sure that this is not new information, but it might be good to refresh, there might be some tools that you haven't come across before, so I hope you'll still get some useful information out of this. So, well, what is advocacy? I think we can all agree that it's about <coughs> a process that is planned and organized that aims at influencing some people that are selected, so we want who we want, we know who we want to influence, we know the change we want to see, and we know why that specific change is what we are advocating for. So that we have, uh, the, I think the main elements of good advocacy are somehow highlighted here. It needs to be organized. It's a process of influencing someone specifically, so people. 
and specific also people, not just I mean the world. So we wish a lot of campaigns, a lot of campaigns also aim at changing you know behaviors on a global level. But I think these are much harder than to take on, and maybe not the focus of this discussion right now. Um, we want to see change that will benefit particular vulnerable groups. Some. Uh, oh, no. Some principles to keep in mind, and some of these were referred already during uh, during the discussions we had. Um, so, whatever, whenever we plan a campaign, it needs to be flexible because the situation can change. Priorities of the people we want to influence can change very quickly, and we need to be able to adapt our campaign to a changing situation. Um, it needs to be credible, so we have to use evidence we have to provide um, information and cases that support what we are going what, what we want to change to support why we want we want this change and if you were yesterday at Sarwar's session on community mobilization in riverine communities uh, that's also a discussion that we've had so how to provide information and evidence to make sure that that who we want to influence in this case the government can understand the the issue can understand what the problem is and the depth of this problem. Um, collaborative. So, um, Happy said in, in her uh, in her campaign that they joined hands with other organizations, with other women grassroots organizations that had um, similar issues and wanted similar change. And of course, the more you join, the more you join hands and work together, your voices become louder and it's easier to be heard. Um, focus. They need to be. Uh, they need to be clear and simple in goals, in the messages, in in your targets. So you need to have a clear understanding of the change that you want to see and why you want to see the change and which message you need to share in order to have this change. Um, there needs to be a strategy. So ad hoc advocacy campaigns that you just do once in a while are not going to um, are not going to provide provide or lead to the change that you want to see, you need to have planned what activities you want to do and how you want to implement them. And context specific. So um, what GoFront mentioned before, they worked with the women themselves and they asked them, what, do you, what, is, what are your priorities? What is the change you want to see? And as she was, she was saying, for example, national nationalities was not their main priority, but they had other issues that they raised and the campaign was focused on that. And there is no standard way of doing good advocacy, but we have some, um, we have, let's say, some, some steps and some processes that we can follow and adapt for each specific, each specific case. I'm going to pause for a moment. Uh, I'm going to leave the floor to Enone to give you a brief example. Then we'll go to a, a little game at your table that will be facilitated by Teshwar. Great. So, um, I just want to add one thing to this, and there's an element of patience, okay? <laughs> so I want to just show you, uh, maybe Valeria, you want to bring up the, um, the Philippines uh, infographic in the background. But I'm going to talk about two experiences. The first experience is uh, of our work uh, in India. Um, we were doing a, a DFID a funded grant in northern India. Uh, and I, in my naivety, thought that it was going to be quite easy to, to over a five-year time frame, to be able to influence the Indian government. But it literally was at the 11th hour, the very end of that five-year period, that we had movement. Uh, and that included to put get to a place of saying, look, this is a vulnerability and capacity analysis that can give you good uh, mapping and information knowledge about the vulnerabilities of your communities. If you integrate that into your policy, you will then make sure that you will get a cross-section of data and information that will then influence your later planning. And what we wanted to do was saying, listening to the community, doing good vulnerability and capacity assessment was really important. But they were saying, no, 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 we can just make the plan at the, at the Bihar level or even just at the Madhu Valley level. But that wasn't to be, and we kept on pushing the argument. And we pushed the argument by, um, by example, really. And I think we did it because we had the credibility of the evidence and the information. We were able to say, we've done these activities. 
we're bringing to you now the maps that we've already done. And they go, oh, oh maybe there is something to this. Um, but sometimes it's just a case of evidencing what, uh, uh, just giving people examples. And while this, strictly speaking, this, this other example I want to show you, just a small infographic of, uh, of us developing a city level disaster uh, risk management plan uh, in uh, uh, Roma City, uh, I'm sorry, Cadiz City in, in the Philippines. Um, we, we it, strictly speaking, is an advocacy. Um, but what we do know, just coming back to those three principles that um, Valeria was saying, what, what we do know is that um, to be flexible, we possibly needed to model, yeah? We needed to model collaboration as an organization. So we, we actually put ourselves and said, look, we're willing to help you achieve this. It's not just saying, oh, you should be doing this. Uh, it, that doesn't necessarily always win people over. If you need to win and influence people, sometimes modeling what you want to be. So we walked alongside um, the Cadiz city authorities and we demonstrated how we wanted to be collaborative uh, and we worked with them um, on the credible basis of the work that we'd already done in the response to Typhoon Maya and saying, we've got this experience in DRR as well, we'd like to leave you with a disaster risk management plan at the city level that is actually going to be giving you a better opportunity and, oh, by the way, it fulfills your Sendai commitments as well. And it fulfills your obligations for safer cities as well. So, you know, we were, we were being flexible in the way, but we, we do a lot of our advocacy often by modeling. And a small tip I want to give to you is um, you, uh, what we've been hearing about partnership brokering and about bringing in different, different organizations. Don't forget to bring in, I know it's cr uh, sometimes difficult if you don't have a local INGO who you think is, is useful, but do hold the INGOs to account, yeah? Because they can give you some leverage in different ways. They can give you some connections in some different ways. They may be giving you some, some technical capacity in different ways. Now, one of the things to say for us, in terms of our learning, this is quite a small investment for a very big return. This only costs 10,000 pounds to do, which would be about $12,000. Yeah. That's, it was a nine month exercise, but that's a small investment for a significant return. And later on, I'll tell you a little bit more work that we've been doing on cost benefit analysis to help influence and change people's minds as well. Thank you. We can share that for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So before moving to the main steps of an advocacy campaign, Cashflow has a little game. As you can see, there, is, there are some cards with something written on it on the table. And the game is to, together, put them in order from what you think should be done first when developing a campaign to what you think should be the last step of it. So it's developing, designing, and implementing a campaign. And you might not all agree on what's the best way to go about it. When we tested it with Keshra, I also was a bit skeptical in something. 